Okay, let's make it real quick here. Uh, quick demo. What we have here is the second part of the demo for the uh, RAM disk, uh, XB RAM disk, also for the MS card with RXB. So with a command called uh, MS Bank. So anyways, this is the RAM disk. I'll include a zip file of this so you guys can see it and use it. It's, it's pretty old. Uh, RXB even at one time in 5.55 had a version of Gram disk and RAM disk built in where you could actually do this program it was built into RxB. I may put it back in just for the hell of it, just so you guys can use it. Uh, include it with uh, AMS. So anyways, that's that. Now this is a listing of the program we have here in whoops, TI directory. Uh, this is the uh, demo I did earlier. Here's the program. I'll include all of this in the uh, zip package. But there's the program that actually does almost the work to load everything and to set it up. And then um, where the banks are located, like 0, as you can see, 0 and 1 is for XB RAM disk. Uh, librarian is at 4 and 5. So if you go to uh, 4 and 5, it is actually, uh, it's not actually corresponding to the number of the banks here. Because if you look at the program, you can see that they don't correspond to the numbers. Uh, what corresponds are these numbers right here. These tell you what bank and what um, they respond to. But anyways, I'll include this all in the package just so you can see it. So these are the ones where all the programs that I have loaded here. Now, some of these don't work because I don't have the documentation for them anymore. They do work, but I don't have the documentation to tell you how to make them work. Uh, WinDXB won't work because I can't transfer files with directory from the original PC99 into it. it I used a, a, a weird for, for, format that I set up myself. It doesn't work. I can't transfer it over. It doesn't make it possible. I have to, I have to reform the files from scratch. So WinDXB doesn't work. Uh, Librarian, I don't remember how it works, what it does. And it also was set up to work with a SCSI drive on the original demo. So that's why I can't make that one work. Uh, what's the other one? Um, I think the others do work. I just have, I don't have the documentation for them. Do a quick demo here. Let's do like um, let's do like a star. That's I. And see what it did was it loaded the XB RAM disk and installed it into the program by using a call link. So if you go to the uh, RXB and look at it it did everything you needed for the call link. See what it did right here? It created it created a file and did a call link on the user program right here. So it called up the user program to create a call link off to the side and save the program and did a call link to display it and then called user to, to run it. So it's kind of a cool cool little utility I guess in here that does, it runs a, a program that runs a program that creates a program that runs a program. Ta-da! <laughs> it's actually on Scott. A program that creates a program that runs a program that created a program it ran. It's confusing. Anyways, it's funny. Uh, so here's the demo right here at Chimes. Let's see, I've got a program here we can run. Uh, disk 2. This is going to be sideways. Uh, this is the star program. So star, let's say that this is star. And it's assembly. It turns it sideways and it does this and it plays a tune. There we go. Say no. It ends. Okay, let's switch banks. Let's go call. Now if we go over here, let's just if we go over here and take a look at this, it says that I can go to a different one. Let's load the XB Detective. So if we go call ISR off, and we go uh, any variable, it doesn't matter. Now I gotta explain this. ISR hook has ISR, which is interrupt service routine off. I have another one called interrupt service routine on. Now you can't use the on with a variable because VDP interrupts will make it crash the, the XB. That's pretty obvious to people that run assembly. They know that the interrupts are going to interfere with extended basics ability to talk to video memory 
so it'll crash. This is the same reason why the missing link will not work with RXB because you can't turn off the interrupt hook on it because he's moved the VDP memory around so that when you try to do that it'll crash because it can't move memory back to where it's supposed to be in order to use the ISR hook off. So, but with this it works. With, with these programs I'm using right here you can do that because they don't mess with the VDP memory locations. So anyways, this is the ISR hook right here. I'm going to turn it on. So let's do this. Let's go call AMS bank and let's change banks. Now, XB Detective is at 14 and 15. So if we go 14-15, then go call link, load, look at that, it loaded the program, there it is. What it did was it moved the lower 8K XB Detective, uh, the, this program right here from RAM disk into memory. Now we still have to load the, RAM, the XB Detective, it's not loaded yet because it's right here. So we're going to do that with this program right here. It'll do it for us. It's going to have memory and everything. It's also going to check this address right here, put an X and Y, and see if it's equal to zero. If it's not, then it ends the program. If it is, it's going to call this ISR number and turn on the ISR hook, and then XB Detective is going to run. There it is. So now if we go function 7, whoops, it's wrong, function 7, there it is. XB Detective is now loaded. So let's say we want to list out the variables. There they are. Hit C for continue. We can uh, do stuff like uh, find reserve words. Let's look for the um, let's look for the RAM statements for like one A. And we'll start at line one, and it finds it one thirty. So anyway, that's that, that's XP detective right there. And sixty exit. So if we want to switch to another program, we we'll call ISR off, and we'll put it in a variable like uh, let's put it in uh, X. Now the ISR is turned off, and you can see the screen change because we turned off the VDP interrupt that was running. So anyways, let's try a different program. Let's try like uh, star. So let's go call AMS Bank. Now you can do this for one XB program. All this can be done for one XB program to run several uh, assembly language programs that are in lower AK at the same time. Or one huge assembly language program in RxB. That, that, there's no limit what you can do with RxB when, when you want to do stuff like this. So let's say stars at 30 and 31. Let's load the um, extended basic section by going call link. And it's going to be load with XB RAM disk. List the program out, and that's what it's going to load. So it's stars loaded, so we run it. It's going to turn on our ISO hooks. And it's going to show us everything. So we load a star again, so we switch back. Let's go to a different one. Let's go to what we started with in the first place last time I had one. Or let's do something different. Let's go to T shell. Let's go call ISR off XX, just for the hell of it. That's the ISO hook. Call AMS bank. And let's go to T shell, which is going to be at six and seven. Oops. Uh, then call link the load. There's the program to load it and uh, T shell. It's going to turn on the banks, it's going to peak, and it's going to do that. It's going to call the SR that's on. It does it for us. It didn't load anything because it was already in AMS memory. So we didn't have to load anything. So let's do a like catalog. There you go. So T shell works. So, anyways, these are the programs right here. Some of them don't work, like Windy XP is a special utility. I can't make it work. But I wanted to do a demo. I will post the zip files. And I will show you everything that I have here. Uh, it'll be all in one package. Here's the entire package. It'll be zipped. And I'll include that so you guys have it. And uh, we will uh, talk to you later.